What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, and I was working on a project last week and searching Pinterest for some scrap, and I saw this chili with the word Abdullah in it, and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. I bet we can do that with the banana. Now you're going to want to get yourself a cool-looking banana. I got this one over at Envato.com, and I put the affiliate link below in case you want to follow along with the exact same banana. Now let's go ahead and mask this out. So I'm going to hit, I want to make sure I'm on that layer, the banana layer. Then I'm going to go up to select, select subject. Once that's selected, I'm going to hit the mask button and mask that out. Now I noticed it's a little bit sloppy. So I'm going to hit P on the keyboard, zoom in, command plus, and go ahead and use my pen tool to get rid of this little bit of shadow. Once you have it, right click, make selection, hit OK. And then making sure that your background color is black, I'm gonna hit Command Delete, get rid of that. Hit Command D, get rid of the selection. Hit Command Negative. Now I'm gonna hit New Layer, T on the keyboard to bring up our type. And I'm gonna type out, bite me. Then I'm going to scale it up by hitting Command T. And I'm gonna kern the letters so that they're a little closer. So you're hitting T on my keyboard, going in between one of the letters and hitting Option and the arrow key to the direction you wanna pull a letter. Now, I'm gonna turn this layer, the type layer, into a rasterized piece of type by going to Rasterize Type. This will allow us to warp. To warp, we're gonna hit Command T, right click, and then go to warp. And we're just gonna drag and massage this type into the banana until we have it looking good. As soon as you're happy with your type, we're gonna go back down to our banana layer, hit Command J, copy, then hide that bottom layer. Now on that copied layer, we're gonna turn that into a rasterized object. So go ahead and right click, drag down to rasterize layer. One more time with your pointer above the mask, go ahead and apply layer mask. And now we can cut out the typography from the banana. So going back up to our typography layer, I'm gonna hit Command and then hit that layer and that's gonna select all of our typography. Then we're gonna go back down to the banana layer and then we're gonna go to the mask button and mask it out. Now we're going back up to that type layer, go ahead and hide it and you can see that we've got our banana type ready to go. You guys could do a quick favor and just hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. Now we want the rest of the banana to show up so I'm gonna get the pen tool out one more time and kind of follow the line of this B, circle around where I think the rest of the banana is, make selection, hit OK, making sure I'm still on that mask, and then hitting X on my keyboard so that white is my background layer. I'm gonna hit Command Delete and bring that banana back. I'm gonna do the same thing for the end of the banana. And then now I'm just gonna put a curve adjustment layer on top. So I'm gonna to go to my adjustment layers, curves, and then I'm gonna hit Option Command G to attach that curve to that layer. And I'm just gonna darken it up a little bit so that it's easier to read like that. And there you go, guys. We've converted some type into a banana.